Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny at Emergency Medical Council bringing you the next video in our series of quick tips, tricks, and techniques you can take with you into the field. Today we're going to be doing a viewer request, and if you look at the screen, you'd probably guess that we've been requested to cover the Glasgow Coma Scale, a universal neurological scale for assessing a patient's current state of consciousness. And this is the way it's usually presented to students. You have three different categories and an associated point value for each. The eye-opening category has a total of four possible points. Six possible points in the motor response category, and the verbal response category has five possible points in it. And you may look at this and think that it looks like a lot to remember. We're going to show you that's not the case at all. We're going to break it down in a way that is really simple and, best of all, ridiculously easy to remember. So first, we'd assess the eye-opening category. And we would remember the four possible points in that category by picturing a guy with four eyes. And it's really only necessary to remember two of the points because two of them are kind of give me's, such as one point for having no response and four points for being normal or in this case having spontaneous eye opening. And hopefully you would get four points for opening your eyes spontaneously, but if not, the next best thing is opening your eyes to voice. And if not that, opening your eyes to pain. And if you don't get that, then you would have no response and get one point, which is the worst score you can get in the I section. Next, we would assess the verbal response. We would remember that there are five points here by knowing that V is the Roman numeral five, and you would get five points for being oriented. And as is the case with all the Glasgow Coma Skill categories, you would get one point just for being or having no response at all. You would get four points for being confused. If I asked you what year it is and you said it's 2004, you'd be confused. If you responded purple, that would be inappropriate and worth three points. And if you had an unintell unintelligible sounds, uh, moaning, groaning, that would be an incomprehensible response and worth two points. So after we assess the verbal component of the Glasgow Coma Scale, we would assess the motor component. And we would remember that there are six possible points by thinking of a six-cylinder motor. You would get six points for following commands. Once again, one point if you have no response at all. You would get five points for a localized or purposeful movement, such as withdrawing from or pushing away a painful stimulus. You would get four points for a non-purposeful movement, three points for a decorticate response, and two points for a decerebrate response. So hopefully this was really easy for everybody to understand, super simple to remember. We gave you all a nice little memory aid thinking about the four eyes, the Roman numeral five, and the six-cylinder motor. But let's go ahead and look at a couple of practice problems and make sure everybody can use the Glasgow Coma Scale. An 86-year-old patient looks at you and you speak to her. When you ask her the date, she replies, purple. You note left-sided weakness when she grips your fingers. What is her GCS? So, using the method we learned, first we would assess the eye opening. She looks at you and you walks in, that's spontaneous, or she looks at you and you speak to her, that's spontaneous and normal and is worth four points. When you ask her the date, she says purple. That is an inappropriate response and is worth three points. You note left-sided weakness when she grips your fingers. That would be important if this was a stroke assessment or stroke scale, but that is a um, following commands. You ask her to grip your fingers and she does it and is worth six points. 6, 10, 13. GCS is 13, but that doesn't give us quite as much information as it could because we don't know why it's not a 15. Where'd she lose those two points? So a better answer would be her total GCS is 13 with E4, B3, M6. Second question. A trauma patient moans, bends her arms towards her chest, and points her toes when you attempt to start an IV. What is her GCS? Um, we're not given any information about eyes, so we're going to say that that is no response and is worth one point. Uh, the patient moans when you attempt to start an IV, so that is an unintelligible response uh, or incomprehensible and is worth two points. 
and she uh, bends her arms towards her chest and points her toes when you attempt to start an IV. And that is a decorticate response and is worth three points for a total GCS of six of E1, B2, M3. So I hope that made the GCS uh, very clear to everybody, easy to remember. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments section below. And also check out the link to our website for additional material. And please, uh, if you liked the video, if it helped you out, tell your friends, like, like it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us know if this helped you out. And we will see you guys next time.